What is up, YouTube? <laughs> it is I, the motherfucking Pharaoh, bitch, you feel me? <laughs> and we back with another video. Today we doing a story time, and we doing mother. I'm gonna see site. I'm gonna see motherfucking site, and we doing scratch off tickets. I'm finna show y'all. We finna do that while we doing the story time, cause we lit. But uh, I gotta show y'all something real quick. <laughs> we got a new whip, you bitch. Yeah, we in a motherfucking Honda. We went from a Hyundai to a Honda, you feel me? Oh, uh, but this a new one. Don't mind that. That's getting fixed. <laughs> but, uh, you see the motherfucking Pharaoh there. Yeah, this big Bluetooth. I ain't had the Bluetooth in the last bitch. I ain't even had no AC. Now, look at this. Come on, it's an upgrade, you feel me? It's an upgrade, you feel me? We got Bluetooth. See motherfucking sight. Take on the seat, I came with. I came with the car. Oh, God. Came with the car. Look at the tickets. We about to do the tickets. And we about to do the story time. <clears throat> I ain't even tell y'all what the story time was about, but we doing a story time about living in Japan. Living in fucking Tokyo, Japan. This is where I met this man. If y'all ain't know that. Okay. This is where I met that man. Met this man in Tokyo, Japan. Mm. Crazy. Back uh middle school. Middle school, I met this man. But yeah, I met this man in middle school. I moved to Japan in like 2010. I moved in 2014. I did fifth grade to eighth grade in Japan. When you moved there? Fucking 2013. Shit, nah. Like three months in the eighth grade. Yeah. I moved to Japan. I was like 16, 17. Right. Oh, oh. Right, right, right. I moved to Japan. <laughs> oh my god. I was in Japan 2013 to 2017. Yeah. <laughs> I moved there like yeah. 2016. I was 2013 to 2017. That's when I lived there. Yeah, I was yeah, there you're right. like 2019. Yeah, you're right. But yeah, we met in Japan. We lived in Japan. We have a, that's where all of our friend group, the ones y'all be seeing that Rolling Loud, all of our friends, we all met in Japan. After all these years, we still, yeah, wow. you feel me? <clears throat> so, hold up. We about to start scratching these bitches on. Hold up. Better get some big bucks. Oh okay, God, we about to, let me show y'all. We got, this is the most expensive one I got, $10. You know, I ain't do too much because I ain't no addict. Got me a little $5 one, too. One dollar mila. One dollar mila. I eat a one dollar mila. A little $3 one, too. Got the $3 one, too. And then I got two little one dollar ones. This man Keeping got things. How I mean, much these, these are the fives. $5, goddamn. Mm -hmm. That's $20 right there, ain't it? Two to tens. That's $40 right there, isn't it? You know that. Uh, but what's forty dollars to a man that's better win five hundred thou? What he say was to a I can't think of Kanye, but you know what I'm talking about. <clears throat> so yeah, we gonna start, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So you we about the story time. Alright, let me go ahead and address this. First question I always get whenever people find out I lived in Japan, first question. You speak Japanese, you speak Japanese. Blah, blah, blah. Hell, yeah, I do. I do actually. I speak. <laughs> I speak Japanese. I speak Japanese. Konnichiwa, Genki desu. Uh, moshi moshi. You see, I do speak Japanese. Nah, nah. Don't know that. Japanese probably like one of the hardest languages to learn. They got like three different languages in one. Bro, tough. But uh, yeah, don't know that. But you know, like the same way people come here to America. And like they gonna know, they gonna know the the basics. Like they know, hey, hello, thank you, you're welcome. Like you know what I'm saying. And depending on like the jobs that they work, they gonna know the English words to like work for their job type shit, right? You know what I'm saying. But yeah, I don't. Yeah, we know the basics, all that. Blah blah. What's another? What's another common mistake people get for living in Japan? Oh oh oh. Do we like? Did I live in like Japan, just like Tokyo? Like I lived in Tokyo. Like we was in Tokyo, mm -hmm. but like <clears throat> we were like we. You see how he American and I'm American, right? Like we knew like we wasn't around all these Japanese folks. Like like we was, but like in the military and the Air Force, you get like a base, you get an Air Force base, whatever. So we lived in an Air Force base over there. An Air Force base, like imagine like America, the USA is a pie or a cake. And you cut out a piece and you just place that piece in somewhere else, like a different yeah. country. That's exactly what it is. But it's just like, it's like a city damn near, like a little city, right? Yeah. Not even, like a little town. It's like a thousand people. Nah, probably not. Probably not. It's gotta be good. 
It's like no, nah, it was it was more than yeah, a it was thousand. more it was way more than a thousand. It was like fourteen thousand people yeah. on that base actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, but the middle schools and high schools, it's not like out here. Like high schools out here, you be having like fucking uh like three thousand kids, two thousand kids out there. It was like 300, 400, 500 kids. Yeah. Middle school was probably like two fifty. Yeah. Elementary was like probably like three. But yeah, <clears throat> but yeah, uh, living in Japan, fire. It, uh, when you first get there, it, it sucks. I ain't gonna cat because it's like a like culture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like, what the hell did I get into? Like, yeah. you gonna hate it for like the first, I hated it for like the first year and a half, two years, damn near. We was younger though too. Yeah, but then it grow on you and you like, damn, like, and living out there, bro, if you ain't never been to outside of America, if you ain't never been outside the USA, you have to like, I'm telling you, get you a passport, get in the Air Force, do something, bro. You gotta see, you gotta like, you gonna realize how America really is and all that stuff, but you going you gotta see what, how other people be living and how they be functioning. Nice. Japanese people, top top two, top three for real. Cleanest, cleanest people I ever been around. Ain't no crime at all. Ain't no bro. crime. Like, bro, we was in middle school, catching like we was going off base, catching the train to like, like the big cities like. Uh, what is it? What's it called? Harajuku. Yeah, 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 yeah. Harajuku, Shinjuku, Tachikawa. Y'all seen the crossing. I'll pop up a picture of the Shinjuku crossing. I know y'all seen that, like, pictures, movies. We used to go there. Another thing. 7-Elevens in Japan. Oh, my God. Compared to America. Bro, so hit. We used to go eat dinner. Like, you could, you Damn, could for real. Oh, I gotta take this, bro. You could for real go eat dinner. In like at a 7-Eleven in Japan, real talk. They had like fried, the best fried chicken. I swear to God, all my niggas out there, Japan has the best fried chicken on God. On God. They have the best sodas. They got the best candies. They got the shit you ain't ever heard of. Like they melon banana. 40,000 different fucking Kit Kat flavors. Yeah, bro, the Kit Kat's insane. They used to have like, <laughs> like at 7-Eleven, they had like these little rice balls. They call oh niggity. Nah, I'm playing. They call oh niggity or some shit like that. Oh niggity. Yeah, they said it. it was a triangle rice. I know y'all seen it. Triangle rice, seaweed, and each side like shit in the middle. Shit, yeah. shit was bomb. That shit was buzz. The uh, the drinks, melon soda. Y'all ain't even know. Melon soda smack. Lemon Aquarius, tea. Aquarius. Nah, hit. Right. Aquarius hit. Lemon tea. Lemon tea, gas. Lemon tea to get bro. Lipton. Y'all know Lipton. Y'all know Lipton sweet tea. Y'all, bro. Here, Lipton on, got milk tea, apple tea, orange tea, grape tea, and y'all ain't even know. They don't even be serving it in America. Y'all ain't even know. They only be plugging They the candies, Japanese. boy. They candies, they chips, they snacks. Bomb, bomb. <clears throat> this is unmatched. Shit, bro. Their ramen, like their food. The only bad thing, another, I, I say like so a couple of the cons about living there. Some of the food you gonna miss. Some of the food you're gonna miss. You're not gonna miss McDonald's. They got McDonald's and they McDonald's out hey. there. Nah, it take long as shit to get anywhere you need to be. Yeah, no cap. They traffic out there? Shit. Crazy. They cars out there, wow. They cars out there, wow. They hella small and stuff. It's crazy. Like, and they drive on the other side. But traffic don't even be that bad. Y'all know how people be riding like like cars here. Like hell, it's like eight ninety percent of the people you see on the road is in cars. 10% on bikes, whatever, five, whatever, all that. Nah, in Japan, 75%, nah, 60. 60% is driving, 40% on bikes, bro. Like, they be biking so much out there that they'll have like a whole nother parking lot for bikes and shit. It's crazy out there, bro. Facts, they be having no whole parking like, garages for Parking bikes. garages, bro, just for bikes. The trains, like, they be catching trains out there for real. Like, subways and shit, and then, bro, you get like a little debit card for the little train, or you could use the debit card for the train station. Oh, and on the venom machine. Venom machine, bro. bro. Oh, I knew. Listen. Yeah, you get a card for the train <laughs> station. Listen. Shit works with the vending machine. Venom machine, 7 Eleven, whatever. But, hey, we gotta talk about the vending machines, all right? The vending machines here, it show you like six pictures of different sodas, and you press which one you want, whatever. Listen. Vegas, I mean, Japan, Japan vending machines, bro, is so high tech, so advanced. They got a cold section and a hot section. 
and it's like 40 drinks up in that mug. 40 drinks, no cap. And they like, they used to have a corn soup, like corn soup in a can, warm, hot, keep, like corn soup. Probably one of the best shits in my life. Top five for sure. Top five for sure. Catching the train was lit. Oh, the amusement park. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They Disneyland right oh, here, yeah. here. They got a roller coaster shit called uh, Fuji Q. Fire. Hit. They got like one of the steepest uh, Guinness World Record roller coasters. Shit, guys, hit for real. Shit lit out there. Everyone, bro, I'm telling you, if you ain't ever been out there, you gotta get out of there. Bro. Friendship, Friendship Festival, Festival, oh my God, bro. Like, that's when the base will like, usually you gotta have like an ID to get on base, whatever, right? They'd be letting like Japanese people on base. And we had like a big ass flight line, cause we was the Air Force, so like a big ass plane runway. And like, they would shut it down for the whole day. The whole festival would be on that like flight line and stuff, bro. It was crazy. It was oh! Crazy. You hear it? Yeah. Like, hey, everybody just hit that $10. Yes, sir. Ski. First hit, first hit. Yes, hey, sir, you close your door though, cause yeah. my light on. Bro. First hit. Nobody fat out there. Ever. No, bro. Like, 2% of their population is fat. Swear to God. And they all live past 98. They all yeah. live past 98. They'll be, you'll, you'll be driving. You'll look to the right. Or no, actually over there. Uh, one of the left or the right, and you see a 97 year old on a bike pushing that mud, like pushing, pushing. Japan's so lit, bro. Would I go back? 100%. But I, I ain't gonna cap. If you smoke, if you uh, if you off them tweeds, don't go. <laughs> don't even no, go. you do need to go. It's gonna touch your spirit, though. But they, hey, you it not, you gonna need a little tea break. That's gonna be your tea break for sure. They they be on that heavy out there. They, they shut that down. Yeah. They don't even play that. Oh, another thing. So you know how America, we got hella like, like churches and stuff, like uh, sightseeing places, like like nature shit type. Like I'm trying to think, like Yosemite. That's what you said, Yosemite. Yeah. Right? I was about to say Mike. Um, <laughs> Mount Rushmore, like water, like whatever, right? In Japan, we like used to go to like temples and shit, like old temples, yeah. old like castles like japanese castles and stuff uh the hiroshima where they dropped the big ass bomb i took a plane over there to go like they got a big ass museum obama went there that was a good ass museum a good historic museum that's that's bomb right there the about the bombing and the war is crazy bro and the fact that they said like have so much peace bro it's so crazy to me but it's real life, one of the best experiences you could ever do in your life. No cap. No cap. No the food, you will not be disappointed. At all. And the city life, it's a city. Like Japan is cities, like hella buildings, hella buildings, but they they so like spaced out. And it's not even spaced out, but it's just like so like laid out perfect. Bro, Japan hard. Japan hard, I'm telling you. I'm trying to think of like some more cons though. Being away from everybody, you gonna be away from your whole family. like. It's a whole damn near, how far is it? 20, damn near 24 hour flight? Yeah. Something like that. That's no, like 15. Yeah, something crazy. Something crazy. Another thing is like living in the States and shit, you be, you be knowing people everywhere. Like, you know what I'm saying? You be knowing people everywhere. And, but in Japan, like, you be living with the same people for however long you in Japan for. I was there for four years. How long was you there for? Like three. Three years. You see the same people. Like, you live on a base. You all live on a base. So like you you gonna see them at you only got one grocery store on base, you only got one like big store on base, you got a bowling alley, like you got a little city on base, like you gonna yeah. you got a little city. You gonna you gonna run into everybody. You gonna see them somewhere, you gonna like you live in there for four years. It's like damn bro. It's damn near like being in jail, bro. Like damn near, like not that bad, but like obviously. But like and like you surrounded like dead eyes by a barbed wire and like y'all niggas is sentenced to four years. In like three years, and y'all seen each other. Y'all going to school this, like every year. Japan lit. I'm about to scratch off my tickets. I let y'all know if I won, but I want to say, if y'all ever, if y'all got more questions about Japan, I I drop a part two to this bitch. No kids and no kill. If y'all want another story time about Vegas, about military kids dropping in the comments, I let y'all know. This my man, see motherfucking site. He did one so you far. He won ten bucks. Cool so far, we about to win more. But uh, I'm about to let y'all know if I win and if I don't, then uh, this is gonna be the outro, no cap. Yeah. So yeah, if y'all if y'all ain't there, the message I want y'all get from this bitch or take away, 
If you ain't never been to Japan, bro, you gotta go to Japan. That's simple. And if not, get your passport, go take your ass somewhere else. No cap. Get out of America one time, go visit, go see the world. Go see the world for real. No cap. It's lit. It's lit. You gotta see different experiences, no cap. And yeah. It is I, the motherfucking fair, bro, bitch. Motherfucking C-Sight. And uh, if I ain't win, I'm out. <laughs>